Well, I watched the Britney Spears documentary, Framing Britney Spears, and I have some thoughts, and I think we need to talk about this. Today, I'm gonna do my makeup, and we're gonna talk about the documentary, Framing Britney Spears, which if you haven't seen it, it's on Hulu. If you don't have Hulu, do the seven day free trial and just delete it. It's like an hour and a half long. It's really good, really enjoyed it. But we gotta talk about Diane Sawyer. I'm gonna try my best to be as civil as possible. Watch this documentary. Um, if you haven't seen it, again, go watch it. If you aren't interested and you just kinda wanna like hear me talk about the documentary, you're more than welcome to continue watching. Pretty much just goes into detail about like the as much as it possibly can about the conservatorship uh that she's you know under and goes into like a little bit of like you know her history as like a child and everything they do interview like some reliable sources it's not just like people like assuming things about it they interview like lawyers that are actually have been involved in like the case one of the lawyers I think is actually still currently involved in the case. Uh, they interview the woman Felicia who was like her chaperone slash assistant from the very first time like when she started her career and everything. So like they interviewed like real people. They interviewed one of the paparazzi people. So it, it was presented by like the New York Times. So it's actually done like really good. I, I really enjoyed it. That I honestly didn't really even know she was under this until like I think like a year or so ago. But she's been in this since for like two, for like 13 years. So pretty much um, she doesn't have, if you aren't familiar with what that is, it's she doesn't have any like, like rights basically. Like her dad has like control over like her estate, which actually uh, yesterday, today's Friday the 12th, as of yesterday, he lost, I think, there's an article, I'll link it. Um, he lost pretty much control of that so like the the judge like ruled against him it was very scandalous and very exciting because hopefully she'll be able to get out of it. in the beginning of this documentary they actually bring up um some of like past interviews and this is like what i was really what i got really heated about and i'm gonna try and be as nice as possible when i'm talking about these people but it's gonna be hard britney spears was like first coming onto the scene i was like a, i was a kid like i was a young kid we were like seeing those commercials do you remember like they used to play the commercials for like the up and coming like musicians and stuff so like they would do it for like nsync and they would do like the cds for like backstreet boys and then britney spears like so like you could call the number and like order the cd they definitely don't do that anymore but that was like a thing a, you know like a young teenager and there was some comments made by this one woman in particular we're just getting right into this um she was at the time the governor's of maryland's wife i don't know her name nor do i care about her name anymore like i think it was britney spears was becoming like a little bit more scandalous she said that she was gonna shoot britney spears because she was a bad influence on her children like, how dramatic are you? Imagine if somebody said about one of her kids, like, oh, your child is dressed like a little provocative. Um, I'm gonna shoot them. Mike and I were watching it and the, uh, the whole entire time, I was just, I just couldn't stop saying like, I can't believe this woman, is, like a grown ass married woman who's like a public figure's wife said she was gonna shoot somebody a celebrity that she doesn't even really know personally and that the celebrity doesn't know her person like that was absolutely uncalled for and disgusting and like i like it's just it's just so crazy that she could get away with that i think she like apologized but now since a lot of britney's fans are my age <laughs> and we're adults now and things never disappear once you say them I reactivated my Twitter because I was all like, I was all fired up and I was like, I gotta, I gotta see if this woman has a Twitter. She does. Uh, she also has a podcast with her husband and everyone was rating the podcast like a one, I guess, which is like the lowest you can give it. And they just were commenting on the comments with like the rating for the podcast, like apologize to Brittany. It's quite great. After that um, whole debacle, they showed another clip with Brittany going on an interview with Diane Sawyer and I have some thoughts. First of all, I've never watched Diane Sawyer's interviews. I guess she was really big again when I was like a kid. So like, 
I wasn't watching interviews of Britney Spears with like Diane Sawyer. I was watching Britney Spears as a guest appearance on All That or like something, you know? So I think this documentary showed a lot of light to people now like who were fans of her when they were kids as adults. So I guess at the time uh, of this interview, it's like kind of like when her and Justin Timberlake broke up. I guess like there was rumors that like she cheated on him and he made like that song cry me a river about it or something like that it's like you cry me a river justin really just like i have to put my mirror down for this she said to her you really hurt him what did you do like in that nasty ass tone and britney's like getting really emotional and almost like crying at this point and she's trying to like keep it together mind you i think she's still like 17 18 years old like she's young and this woman who's an adult who i think i looked up how old she is now she's like 75 now so she was like easily in her 50s then you're like 50 something years old and you like does it make you feel good to make a child cry on national television in front of millions of people like does that make you feel like a better person so yeah she said that and then also diane sawyer brought up the woman that was gonna like shoot her she she was like she was like yeah uh did you hear what like the governor of maryland's wife said that she was gonna shoot you and then britney was like oh my gosh like that's like so like that's like not nice and she was like, well, it's because of like the way you act and it's hard to be a parent. You kidding me? Diane Sawyer seems like the, the relative that like you have to kind of like invite to your holiday dinners and like your events and like you really like don't want them there, but like they kind of have to be there and you're just kind of like oh shit is your aunt diane gonna be there and it's like yep she's gonna be there and then it's like you're making the stuffing you know from like a box like you're doing like the box stuffing at thanksgiving and she's like mm, you make stuffing from a box i was actually like going to watch other interviews um with like other people with diane sawyer but i was like i'm not i can't get myself all mad at this like 70 something year old woman so the way like people interviewed her was just so crazy and i'm sure other celebrities and other like women have been in that same kind of like position where people are like putting them on the spot about something that honestly has nothing to do with their career and that just really set me off oh there was another uh, another interviewer that had tossed in there i don't know his name but again she was like 17 18 years old like she was young and he was like everybody's talking about it and she's like what everybody's talking about what and he's like your breasts excuse you what if she turned around and was like everybody's talking about it and he was like what and she's like you're three and i honestly think this documentary also shed light on just like how horrendous like interviewers and just like people in general can be and obviously they go into like her conservatorship and like how like she's not allowed to you know spend her money like get married like drive like all of this stuff and they interview some of like her one of her like backup dancers that was like in her earlier years and he was like people think britney like was just you know like never had control over anything but she was actually in total control from like you know her wardrobes to like her um like her concerts and like everything so that's one thing that I think they're really trying to kind of like also bring attention to is that she is capable of doing more than people think that she is and honestly like I'm not a doctor I'm not a lawyer I'm not any of that so I can't tell you <laughs> I don't know her personally I don't know like to the extent of if she does need something of some sort of conservatorship or if you know like she is truly like being I think she's definitely being like held more so against her will than like people than you know people are trying to like make it seem because she's been in this for like 13 years and I think maybe when after she had her kids and then like she went through her divorce she was probably going through some like postpartum depression and you know with everything going on it was just like a lot so probably maybe at the time it was good but if she's still able to work if she's still able to go on tours 
make music, have like a residency in like Las Vegas and do all those shows. Like, I don't know. Like it just, it just doesn't make sense. So I really think that's what they're trying to kind of like bring um, attention to in this documentary. One thing that they also mentioned was like, she is, um, she pays for like both sides of lawyers. So she pays for the lawyers that are on like her side and her father's side, which again, I think, uh, they even said, I think that's like almost like a conflict of interest, which it should be. If he really thinks this is best for her, maybe he should pay for his own lawyers and not take a pay cut from her. And then, you know, like really fight for it if he thinks that it's really that. I think is he's just in it for the money. Do you all think, um, that like the conservatorship is something that needs to be like reevaluated. I know that they go to court a decent amount apparently and um, they've been fighting this for like a while or like she's been trying to like get out of it or at least like not have her father be in charge. I think that's really what it comes down to. It's like if she, if I guess if she, I'm, I'm not speaking for her, but what I'm assuming is if she feels that she probably, if she does need to actually be in this, she'll be in it, but she just doesn't want him in charge. I think that's what it kind of like, she's made like a statement saying she just really doesn't want her dad to be in charge. What do you also think about the way that interviewers um, talk to people? Like, do you think it's okay because they are celebrities and you know, this is what they signed, signed up for? Or do you think it's just not right because uh, it's not right to treat people like that? I think that some of these celebrities um, and people who have gone on like interviews and stuff have held their shit pretty pretty well together for being asked some of the questions uh, that like, I don't know, that like she was asked and everything. I know I would have fucking freaked out on people. I would have been like, who the fuck are you to like ask me that? My big hopes out of all of this is that one day Britney is gonna be able to tell her story uh, Cause they did say for, from like the New York Times that like she's not allowed to do any type of interviews without any sort of like direction. Obviously they want to like know about the, the conservatorship and, and everything. So your thoughts in the comments below. I hope like this was, wasn't like too over the place. I'll be honest, obviously like I'm really heated about the interviewers. I've mentioned that like 800 times. I think I kept it pretty well composed considering if I filmed this the day after I watched it, I would have not been very civil. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Here's a little close-up action of the, uh, the eye makeup.